Uh, best Supporting Actress. We have Amy Adams from Doubt, Penelope Cruz from Vicky Cristina Barcelona, Viola Davis, also from Doubt, Taraji P. Henson from The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, and Marissa Tomei in The Wrestler. Um, now, I know that you haven't seen a, uh, at least one of the movies. You haven't seen Benjamin Button. You saw all That's the right. That's right. right. Uh, I think that as much as I love Viola Davis in Doubt, I think that the with Amy Adams also getting nominated here, I think that those will probably cancel each other out, um, unfortunately. Uh, it, this is the surprise category because uh, Kate Winslet had been getting nominated for Best Supporting Actress in e virtually every other right, uh, award right. show, mm -hmm. and then she got nominated in Best Actress, as we'll talk about later. Uh -huh. uh, so this is another wide open one. Uh, I think that will probably go to Penelope Cruz. Uh, she was just <laughs> a firecracker in that movie. And well, I'm glad to hear, hear you say that because she's my favorite. I thought her unhinged uh, girlfriend performance was really right on the button. Yeah. I've had a few unhinged girlfriends, but uh, <laughs> she was good. Yeah, she was amazing in that. And so uh, I think that with Kate Winslet moving to actress, that definitely gives it to her. Right. Uh, for Best Supporting Actor, uh, Josh Brolin for Milk, Heath Ledger for The Dark Knight, uh, Robert Downey Jr. in Tropic Thunder, mm -hmm. Uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman at Doubt, uh, which, you know, that could have gone Best Actor, too, sort of. Uh, Michael Shannon in Revolutionary Road. Yeah, I, it's, there's not much you can say here. I mean, Heath Ledger was great, and, and because uh, he died last year, there's this groundswell of feeling for him. And not that he's undeserving. He's completely deserving. I, I, I don't think that there's any chance it'll go another way. Mm -hmm. uh, in another year, I would, I would have loved to see Robert Downey Jr. Uh, possibly get the award. Or even Michael Shannon from Revolutionary Road. I'm, did you see no. that? Uh, Michael Shannon, he only has a few scenes, but he literally steals the movie from Kate Winslet and Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah. And so I, uh, another year, I would have loved to see either one of those guys win. But... It's, it's Heath Ledger. Yeah, I don't think there's any doubt about this one. If, if there's a lock on any of these categories, this is the one. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, we got Best Actress now. Uh, we have Anne Hathaway from Rachel Getting Married, Angelina Jolie from Ch Changeling, Melissa Leo from Frozen River, K uh, Meryl Streep from Doubt, and Kate Winslet in The Reader. Uh, now, again, this is uh, she, Kate Winslet, moved up here. Instead, she got nominated for Revolutionary Road and most other. Uh, award shows, mm -hmm. and now she's here for the reader. Um, she's a five-time, not well, now a six-time nominee, and uh, has not has yet to win, so I have a feeling that she'll probably get the sympathetic vote to, to finally get in there. Mm -hmm. uh, I did not like, uh, I'm not, yeah, I did not like Angelina Jolie. I didn't, oh. I don't think that she was deserving. Uh, I didn't see Melissa Leo uh, as you did, but uh, to me, if it was my choice, I think I would give it to Anne Hathaway. I thought she, she was just amazing. I, I, saw, I just saw Rachel getting married a few weeks ago, and I, I thought that she turned in a, just a very powerful performance. Oh, uh, well, yeah, I have to disagree with you on this. I, I thought Anne Hathaway's performance was a little overrated, mm -hmm. uh, and, and I really liked Angelina Jolie's <laughs> performance in The Changeling. Uh, but uh, that being said, uh, I'm going to pull for the dark horse and go Melissa Leo from uh, Frozen River uh, just because, you know, nobody's seen it. <laughs> and uh, I thought she did a great job. I, I used to enjoy seeing her in uh, Homicide Life on the Street when she was on the right. small screen. And I always thought she is a road hard and put away wet actress. <laughs> you know, it looks like she could take you down and, and strangle you. And she plays a really tough mother uh, in this one, and uh, it's definitely worth seeing. Well, it could go any way. I mean, uh, Kate, Win or Kate Winslet has yet to win. People may think that this be she was better in Revolutionary Road and that she didn't deserve it for the reader. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Meryl Streep has won be uh, several times before, so people may think that she doesn't deserve it. So you never know. It, it could be more wide open than we think. Yeah, could be. Uh, all right, well, best actor. We've got uh, Richard Jenkins from The Visitor. Frank Langella from Frost Nixon, uh, of course Sean Penn from Milk, and Brad Pitt from The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, and then Mickey Rourke from The Wrestler. Um, you know, I just saw The Wrestler, and if you had told me before this year that my two choices for best actor would fall between Richard Jenkins and Mickey Rourke, <laughs> you know, I'd always said you're nutty. Yeah, but but those two guys just did a great job, both of them. Richard Jenkins was uh, sympathetic. 
He was very internalized. You could see the way his thoughts were going just from his actions on screen. And, and Mickey Rourke, you know, he was basically playing himself, an old washed out guy, but uh, much more sympathetically than he ever has in the past, I sure. thought. Yeah, I really, I don't think it could go wrong with anybody winning this category. I don't think Brad Pitt has a chance just with at the the, the all the other are, yeah, yeah the way all the other all the other uh, actors in here uh, I would like you I would love to see Richard Jenkins win I mean he was just so understated I mean it, all these all these other actors have these big bombastic performances and they they have these scenes that you uh, take you out of your seat Richard Jenkins to, to kind of makes you sit back and just just what let him wash over you and and He's just, he's great. It's a very, uh, I'm, I'm so happy to see him nominated here. Exactly. And, and I didn't even say anything about Frank Langella as, as Nixon, but um, it, it was an accomplishment in itself because he, he had the uh, danger of falling into a caricature like, yeah. like everybody else who ever tries to do Nixon, yeah. and he didn't fall into that. And, and, you know, he was yet believable as, as the man. So. Mm -hmm. Well, that being said, I, I, I really think Sean Penn will come away with it. Uh, I, it, again, Milk is my favorite movie of the year, and he just, there was something about it. I mean, Sean Penn is known for these very hard, very dramatic performances, Mystic River and, and whatnot. Uh, here, he's playing totally against Sean Penn type. He's, he's almost happy-go-lucky, even though it's a kind of a tragic a turn in the end, but it's, he's, like I said in my review, you see him smile basically for the first time since Fast, time at, Fast Times at Ridgemont High. And it's just kind of magical to see him come out like that. And so uh, I, I think that he's great. Uh, now we have Best Director. Danny Boyle from Slumdog Millionaire. David Fincher for The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. Ron Howard for Frost Nixon. Uh, Stephen Daldry for The Reader. And Gus Van Zandt for Milk. Um, this is one of the few instances in recent years that the five directors ma exactly match the five uh, Best Picture nominees. And Very so that's, unusual, yeah. Yeah, it's a surprise in and of itself. Mm -hmm. um, but I have to, like I said earlier, you have to go with the um, um, Slumdog Millionaire and Danny Boyle. And mm -hmm. he's been he's been getting relative acclaim for years, uh, but now, now this is his real breakout film, and I think that he'll get it. Oh, I've got to agree. And, and having had the opportunity to speak with him in person earlier this year when he came through town on a promotional tour, he's one of the most impressive you know, uh, Hollywood slash uh, film guys that I've ever had a chance to talk to. He's, he's totally uh, enthusiastic about what he does and uh, friendly and personable. And uh, well, if he doesn't win, I'll just be disappointed. Yeah. I, I think I would, I really can't see any of the other ones winning. Possibly David Fincher just because of the, of the technical feats that were uh, involved in doing Benjamin Button. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I I think Boyle has it in the bag. So. Yeah. And then finally, uh, Best Picture. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> and uh, we have the same uh, things that were nominated for Best Director. Curious Case of Benjamin Button, Frost Nixon, Milk, The Reader, and Slumdog Millionaire. Uh, you know, the omission there uh, of The Dark Knight, which was my pick because it, it entertained me more than any other film, but I understand why the other films are, are here. Okay. So. Uh, uh, I enjoyed the heck out of Frost Nixon, uh, Slumdog Millionaire. You know, it, it was a breath of fresh air. Um, so I'm going to go with Slumdog Millionaire. Yeah, it, it, again, I don't see any, anybody taking that down for Best Picture since it's basically won every other award. Uh, I would love to see Milk win personally. Uh, it, it was just a, a great biopic, and uh, and to see that kind of uh, person brought to light, and also to see the portrayal of gay characters uh, in a non-stereotypical way. It was The film was basically mostly gay characters, and none of them uh, played up to any cliches or anything like that, and, and that's a minor miracle in and of itself. Mm, refreshing. Yeah, but um, uh, I would have loved, to, like I said earlier, I would have loved to see maybe Wally sneak in there. Um, the reader is not, I, I've now seen it twice. I have not liked it either time. <laughs> and not, I didn't, I didn't, hate it, but I didn't love it. I don't really think it's deserving of a Best Picture nominee, mm -hmm. but uh, again, Slumdog, you have to go with that. All right. Well, uh, 
Thanks for listening, and uh, enjoy the Oscars. Thanks.